So it's been proven to be effective in treating cardiovascular disease, reducing the incidence of cancer, reducing the incidence of depression. Obviously, it reduces obesity. It's even been shown to help with asthma, cognitive decline, diabetes, erectile dysfunction. The Mediterranean diet is higher in micronutrients and in omega-3s than most diets, okay? So this is the key. It's really the micronutrients in the omega-3s and olive oil, which we'll talk about next. So the omega-3 polyunsaturated fats control damaging, harmful inflammation. Remember, there's inflammation in your body for a reason. You need some inflammation. It serves a role. What you don't want is to drop from the acute inflammation that serves the role of treating injury and disease and then goes away. You don't want to be in that group that has chronic inflammation that's really not doing anything but attacking your own cells. So on the left side of this slide shows you the pathway that omega-6 fatty acids go through in the arachidonic acid pathway, producing inflammatory mediators. The right side is the omega-3s and their pathway. And the omega-3s down to the EPA and DHA, which is found in you know, brain foods like fish and whatnot, and the omega-3 fatty acids, those are sort of the breakdown products. It'll actually stop the arachidonic acid cascade of your omega-6s. So the more omega-3s you eat, the better, because it's going to reduce the bad effects of the omega-6s. Now, you do need some omega-6s. Our problem is we're at a 20 to 1 ratio on average in this country, and it should be 1 to 1. So omega-3s go down this whole chemical pathway and make these, an these anti-inflammatory prostaglandin mo molecules and leukotriene mo molecules. So it actually puts you into a very... A uh, happy, balanced state, if you will. The omega 6s are always producing attack molecules attack, attack, attack. That's what we don't want. So, we want to reduce the incidence of, anti of cytokines that are pro inflammatory. We want to make anti inflammatory cytokines. That's why you want omega 3s. So, here's a cell membrane. And I, I loved this picture. That's why I put it in there. It sort of shows you it's a double layer membrane, bilipid layer, okay? The blue, funny looking thing is a receptor or, or a pathway that lets things in and out of the cells to go to the nucleus and to talk to the DNA and also to go to the mitochondria. The fatty acids are attached to the, the balls there and that little structure is a lipoprotein, right? And then that makes your lipid bilayer of the wall. And that, that's what's around your, every cell in your body. The omega-3s are awesome for a couple reasons. We showed you one where it makes the anti-inflammatory pathway, but two, they're more flexible, literally more flexible than omega-6s. So the cell membranes are more flexible and everything works better when it's more flexible. You know this, when you get stiffer, like let's say your knees arthritic, your hips arthritic, your back, and you can't even get out of a chair because you're so stiff, you're not working so well. Once you loosen that up, you get everything flexible, you get a little bit stronger, all of a sudden everything works better. The cells are no different. So the cell membrane, when it's flexible, it's more permeable, the receptors work better, it accepts more um, messengers, and um, the nuclear uh, uh, structures, I, I should say, inside the cell function better because they're getting the messengers they need. They need. So the omega-3s keep everything flexible, and they make the correct inflammation or cytokines that are anti-inflammatory versus pro-inflammatory. So the cell membrane is important in reducing inflammation. We talked about that, or at least getting us to the right type of inflammation. It also reduces oxidative stress because if you have strong um, antioxidant ability of a cell membrane, you can neutralize free radicals just with the cell membrane structures and functions. And then you're, uh, if you're rich in omega-3s and your cell membrane is letting things go through to the nuclear area where the DNA is and the RNA, you can actually effectively modify your genetics and have better epigenetics.